Hey, yo, Chris Eubank Jr., he avenges his loss to Liam Smith, really dominates Liam Smith, and knocks him out in the 10th round. Oh, let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Chris Eubank Jr., congratulations. He avenged his loss to Liam Smith. He told everybody who would listen that the first fight was a fluke, and he made the second fight look fluke-ish because he absolutely toyed with Liam Smith. Now, I don't know what was going on with Liam Smith. Liam Smith did a lot of talking. He said, what possibly could Chris Eubank learn with Terrence Crawford trainer Bo Mack? How can he improve in four weeks? He said, you know, basically it was going to be repeat. And it was everything but that. Chris Eubank had a great strategy, him and Bo Mack. It, whatever he learned in the four weeks, it definitely looked completely different than the first fight. And this is a great comeback story in the world of boxing. We all love underdog stories and comeback stories. This is one of them. Chris Eubank had his way, did what he wanted. And in the fourth round, I believe it was, he dropped Liam Smith with a vicious uppercut, right? Liam Smith goes down. His leg looked kind of like Pinocchio when he got up and the ref was talking to him. And at the end of the day, it wasn't looking good for him. And that's how the fight continued to play out. I want to say round six, he barely made it out of the round and he was just getting pummeled with shots. Chris Eubank had a good level of patience. He was landing combinations. And I think most impressive was the fact that Chris Eubank Jr. was, he got stopped in the, in the first fight, but you can tell he has the fight blood and he comes from a bloodline of fighters and he's been around this because his confidence never seemed rattled. Like that, that takes a lot. I will give you that. Like it takes a lot to know a man is capable of hurting you, know a man has previously beaten you and you lost this man, you took a knockout to this person and yet and still come back like nothing happened with a new refound focus and really just put together a game plan and stick to the game plan and have the game plan work. That takes a lot, you know, because you're avenging a loss. There's a lot of psychological drama and trauma that goes with that. So congratulations to Chris Eubank Jr. and Bo Mack, they got one. Terrence Crawford took to his social media, said my team got a great win out there or a very nice win or a good win, something to that effect. Chris Eubank, he moves on and his name goes in the hat. Um, Liam Smith, something seemed up with him. It looked like possibly something was wrong with his leg and his balance looked bad, his equilibrium. I don't know what really caused it. It could have been after the knockdown, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. He talked the talk, but didn't walk the walk. And Chris Eubank did. So at the end of the day, let me know what you guys think. Who knows what fights are out there now for Chris Eubank. Obviously, some people might want to see Conor Ben. Some people don't want to see it because he failed the drug test. So we'll have to see what's next. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. But hell of a revenge and rematch performance. And a lot of people counted Chris Eubank Jr. out. And it's funny because speaking of, you know, his new trainer, Bo Mack, Bo Mack fighter Terrence Crawford beat Errol Spence. And people said that the, the rematch doesn't need to happen and stuff like that. But these fighters show you time and time again that they're defiant. And if you have the willingness and the willpower, who knows what happens on that rematch? So I'm not saying Errol Spence will absolutely beat Terrence Crawford. But what I'm saying is the same way people are writing off Errol Spence, like Paulie Malignaggi and saying, oh, it's going to be repeat. We don't need to see it and stuff like that. You don't truly know because that's the same thing that people were saying about Chris Eubank Jr. They were saying, no way. We seen the first fight. Liam Smith destroyed him. He was making excuses, yada, yada, yada. And then Chris Eubank heard all the criticisms, heard all the complaints and the gripes, and he came back anew with a brand new look and a brand new, you know, renewed vigor. And he actually dominated the guy that just, you know, previously had dominated him. So the point I'm making is you can't really sleep on these boxers heart and what they're willing to go through psychologically, mentally for that warfare. Cause Chris Eubank, he was counted out by virtually everybody and everybody who picked against him had to eat their words. So let me know what you guys think. Chris Eubank Jr., he avenges it and writes that wrong. 
we'll introducing we'll Drop your Super in the Thanks section, subscribe. right here on the I'm official the Boxing in, Ego in YouTube. Animal. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation Fives, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.